to steal the tailgate on a Toyota Tacoma and make it a lot harder to do so. Good morning, everybody. How are you today? And that's right, today I'm gonna to show you how to steal the tailgate on a Toyota Tacoma, but a way to make it a lot more hard to do, right? Or a lot harder to do, um, or at least make it a little bit more secure. Now, first of all, I'm not doing this to show people out there how to steal tailgates. You know, I know I'm gonna get some comments from some people that say, well, you're showing people how to steal the tailgate on a Tacoma, right? Now, everybody's gonna be taking them. They're gonna be disappearing all over the place, right? Well, first of all, give the thieves just a little bit more credit. I imagine if you're in the business of stealing truck tailgates, you probably already know how to do it. I don't think I'm telling them how to do anything they don't already know. So, first of all, obviously, to prevent people from taking your tailgate, just lock it up, right? If you have the electronic or the electric locking tailgate like I do, then all you have to do is lock the truck, right? Hit the button on the key fob, it automatically locks. Secondly, if you don't have that, you have this little hole right down here, right? Just go ahead and stick your key in there and lock it before you walk away. Before I had the electric lock, and I've had several trucks that didn't, I would keep the tailgate locked all the time for just the reason of keeping people from taking it, right? So. What can you do to prevent it, or at least deter people from doing it, to make it a little bit harder? Now, I did notice something today. Um, Toyota has this little nub up here, and I don't think they had this before. And at first glance, I thought, well, that's what they've done. They've helped us out. They've stopped people from taking it, right? Now, what I thought was that when you opened the gate, you couldn't get this uh, cable off of here, right? Uh, because of this thing they have, right? You can't get it off. Well, actually you can. You just turn it sideways and it pulls off just like that. Pretty simple, right? So this little nub they have up here doesn't do anything except keep this cable from pushing off when you shut the, the gate. That's why it's there, right? I mean, it hits. You can see how it works. Stops this from going up beyond or into this little bigger area here that allows you to remove the cable. So that does nothing for you. To take this off, all you have to do is raise the gate up a little bit, pull these over like so, and there's the same thing on the other side. And then before I added my little feature, I'll show you here in a second, you would just lift the gate up at an angle or pull it straight out rather, there's a little notch in there, pull the tailgate to the right, and then it was free, except for the wiring down here. Now, you can bet that if you've got somebody trying to steal your tailgate, they're not going to be nice enough to gently disconnect that wire. They're going to either cut it or they're going to rip your tailgate off there because, let's face it, they want to do it as quickly as possible and they want to get the heck out of there. Now, as far as the cost to replace a tailgate, it's like $1,500 to 2000 bucks, depending on what truck you have. More in the $1,500 to $2,000 range for the Toyota Tacoma. Now, let me show you what I've done to deter this. Let's go ahead and get this wire back up, or cable, so I don't forget. All it is and all you need is a screwdriver. Hopefully you have one of these laying around somewhere. And then a clamp, a hose clamp, which you can see right here. That's it, because if you put the hose clamp on, you're gonna take up or cover up that little nub or notch that's down there. Um, that would allow you to go ahead and remove the gate, right? Now, with this here, you can't just pull the gate up halfway and pull the, the tailgate off. It's a very simple thing to do. And if you're not familiar with hose clamps, obviously, you can see it's through there now. You just unscrew it all the way, and one end comes out. You can feed it through, stick it back in the edge, and then just go ahead and tighten this down. Let me give mine a little tighten. It's been a while, there we go. Actually stayed pretty good. That's it, such a simple thing. Now, people can't just come up and take your tailgate off, right? 
Now, I know, again, there's going to be some people out there that are going to say, well, yeah, but if they have a screwdriver, they can just go ahead and pull that tailgate right off. Well, that's true. They could. If they have the time and the courage to stand at the back of your truck dismantling things while other people or cameras might be looking at them. Maybe a cop drives by. Who knows? My uh, point with this is, is that it's a deterrent. It's going to make people think before they actually come up and try to remove that tailgate. Uh, it's much easier to just move on to the next guy, right? The guy that doesn't have this, rather than stand there and mess with your tailgate. And I'm guessing that's probably what's gonna happen. Doesn't mean it can't be removed. And that's the good part about this too. It isn't permanent. I mean, if you, for some reason, and I don't know how many people actually ever remove their tailgates. I can't think of one time in, in decades that I've had trucks that I've actually ever removed a tailgate. But it's not permanent. Obviously, all you have to do is go ahead and pull that hose clamp yourself. Um, again, all you need is a flathead screwdriver. Uh, go ahead, take that clamp off, and then you're just like you were before. It doesn't damage anything. You guys can see down here, mine's been on for quite a while. There is no scraping of the paint anywhere. Um, it doesn't hit the edge of your truck anywhere. It's not going to do anything that's going to cause any damage. Again, another benefit to having one of these, it's basically uh, trouble-free once you put it on. And I would guess that most people that have it on probably have completely forgotten that it's there. Anyway, I just wanted to revisit this again. I know I've done a video on this before, um, and I thought it'd, it'd be a, a good time, I guess, to go ahead because I had gotten or seen a comment recently from somebody who had their tailgate stolen, and uh, now they get to deal with insurance and trying to replace that, and maybe those ripped up or cut wires when they pulled the thing off. Real quick, one other thing I wanted to show you. Um, it is important enough that other manufacturers have done something about it, right? If you look at the Gladiator back here, Jeep or Fiat Chrysler actually took care of this with a whole bracket themselves. Look at this. This bolts into the side and covers up that slot that I'm talking about right here so that you can't remove their tailgate without removing this bracket. Again, it can be done, but it's not easy to do and it's not something that's going to happen quickly. So a thief is going to have to stand there and work at it for a couple minutes before they actually get it off. Leave a comment. Let me know if you've done this little mod or if it doesn't even matter to you, you'll just submit it to insurance if it ever happens. Also, real quick, if you're interested, check out my other channel. It is Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.